All right, so a major Hollywood engagement, a messy divorce. Life and Style magazine has you covered on it all. Absolutely. Life and Style joins me on 97 VHD each and every Friday, but right now on PA Live from New York via Skype, senior news editor Juliet Ezon. Hi, Juliet. Hi. Happy Friday, guys. Yes, yeah. same to you as well. All right, so on the latest edition of Life and Style Weekly, of course, Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie's engagement. It's exciting, uh, but Juliet, how long has this engagement been on for? <laughs> this is probably the most surprising part of the story. They have actually been engaged since Christmas. Um, but Brad wanted to keep it a surprise because he knew Angelina was promoting her new film in the land of blood and honey and he didn't want to take away from her promoting that and so he decided to wait which I thought was so sweet. No, absolutely. But Juliet, let me ask you, alright, because you know, you're engaged to a great guy there, there in New York. <laughs> if he had popped the question on Christmas and said, Juliet, but we're going to wait five months, would you <laughs> not only not tell anyone but also not wear the ring? Be honest. I would probably burst it. If my ring was as nice as Angelina's, there's no way that I would keep that thing under wraps for months. <laughs> right, that, that's, that's what I was figuring. I think that's what I was... they've got to be used to that kind of thing, keeping things mum, they are good. They're good say, with that. Right? They're good with that. But then again, there's only so much you can keep from Life and Style Weekly. So. Yeah, exciting news, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more as they plan for that wedding. Is the wedding planned for any time soon, Juliet? There's been a lot of speculation that they are going to get married in France because they have that enormous $62 million chateau in the south of France, which actually has its very own chapel. Uh, we've been noticing a lot of construction going on there for the past year or so, so it would make sense that they would do it there because they have their own church. They can control who's coming to the wedding. It's extremely private, and it's also wonderfully beautiful. Wow. So moving on, there's some drama in New Jersey, as always, with the Housewives, <laughs> the Real Housewives of New Jersey. And you guys uh, have, an, have an interview. You, you talked with the ladies. Uh, what are they revealing about the relationships? Yes, Life and Style talked to all the ladies of the Real Housewives of New Jersey exclusively. And as you may know, if you've watched the show for the past few seasons, sort of everyone against Teresa. She's uh, basically burnt all her bridges, including those with her sister-in-law, Melissa Gorga, which is pretty surprising. But at this point, all the women are just very tired of her antics. They're tired of how she talks about them behind their backs and how she's really only in it for herself and to make herself famous. So they've almost completely cut ties with her. Julia, uh, getting ready to wrap up here, but real quick, how ugly is this divorce going to get between singer Mark Anthony and actress Jennifer Lopez? It is getting uglier by the minute. Um, at this point, Mark is definitely fighting for uh, dual custody of their twins, and he's also having his lawyer look in to see if Jennifer has any offshore accounts, because if that's the case, uh, the assets would be quite different between them, and he really doesn't want to have to pay any uh, spousal support. Uh, Very interesting. Accounts. Yeah, but we'll be reading about this, I think, for months and months to come. Read about that story and many more in the latest edition of Life and Style Weekly. Senior News Editor Juliet Ezon joining us via Skype. Thanks, Juliet. Thank you.